Uh, I'm Peter Page. To say I'm from West Hartford, Connecticut is a little bit of a misnomer. I was born in West Hartford, Connecticut, but I am from a lot of places. I, uh, I envy people who can say a, a statement as simple as, I'm from Driftwood, but, um, <laughs> but that's not me. Um, the summer after my freshman year of college, I went to um, do summer stock in um, Manteo, North Carolina, which is um, on the Outer Banks. And um, the day we all moved in, um, it uh, like a summer kind of rain shower came along and um, we were out on the deck um, dancing in our underwear, which I don't, I don't really know why we were doing that, but it was, I don't know, it seemed like the right thing to do. We were 19 and, and, um, uh, and I looked down and this guy is, is moving in. He's probably 6'4" blonde, looks like Apollo, like he's, he's, he's like a god. I mean, he's ridiculous to look at. And I, I'm, I can't stop staring at him. And he's moving his stuff in and out, and there's a, a girl helping him move things, a young, a young woman. And, um, and they're moving things in and out, and they keep walking past, and I see him look up at me like, just like maybe once, maybe twice, just, Kind of, and I, you know, wave hi, and and um, and uh, and he sort of, you know, nods nods back, and um, and at one point, one of my roommates comes over and is like, "Who's that?" And I was like, "That's my next boyfriend," <laughs> and he was like, "Yeah, I think that's his girlfriend," and I was like, "Whatever, I'm telling you." Something in me knew. I don't know how, I don't know why, I don't know what, but something in me knew from the second I saw him. So it turns out that was his girlfriend. And um, I spent a fair amount of time with him over the rehearsal process, which is only like two, two and a half weeks or something. And we got to know each other pretty well and we became part of a little group of four people who kind of hung out a lot. Um, his name's Terry, by the way. So I had spent you know, time getting to know Terry and I really enjoyed it, but I had kind of let go of the idea that we were gonna date. I had kind of like let it go. He was straight, he had a girlfriend. Wow, and that was weird. I kind of got a hit off him, whatever, whatever. I just kind of let it go. At one point, I realized that I'm sitting alone with Terry on this beautiful deck looking out over what is almost dawn. It's like almost sunrise and um, and we're sitting there and we're shooting the shit, talking about something, I don't really remember what. And at one point Terry says to me, you know, Peter, I, uh, I dig you. And I was like, oh, thanks, Terry, I dig you too, man, that's sweet. And he goes, no, I, um, I dig you, dig you. So this kind of perfect moment in, in the quiet of, you know, pre-dawn, beach in North Carolina, um, I leaned over and kissed him for the first time. And uh, I mean, I'm sure the alcohol had something to do with it, but it was, it was perfect. It was this perfect uh, kiss with Apollo. <laughs>